Hello everyone, welcome to RM English Learning Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss case. Now I got a couple of requests to discuss second part of video of case. That's why I am here. So if you haven't yet subscribed my channel, so do subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update. Now the three remaining kinds of case are dative case, vocative case and case in apposition. In previous videos, we discussed nominative case, objective case and possessive case. And the fourth kind of case today I am going to discuss is, uh, today I am going to start is, is dative case. What is dative case? First of all, we should know what is dative, dative case. Dative case uh, we can uh, understand that uh, in indirect object in the dative case denotes the person to whom something is given or for whom something is done what how can we know how can we recognize the dative case indirect object in the dative case denotes the person to whom something is given or for whom something is done for example i gave a book to harry next example we write this is example in second uh, in second type second way that i gave harry a book in first sentence book is the object of the verb give and hurry is the object of the preposition to in the second sentence both hurry and book are the objects of the same verb give okay book is the direct object of the verb give and hurry is the indirect object of the verb give what is the direct object i, I told you in previous video that the object that have no life that has not life just my life now away care hai? direct object and what is the indirect object the object that has life like hurry is that indirect object and the book is uh, direct object because book has not life and but hurry has life so hurry is in direct object the direct object book is said to be in the objective case and indirect object hurry is said to be in the dative case other examples of dative case are give Ram a pen. Next example, she made Kamla a dress. So, uh, Ram and Kamla of uh, both examples of Ram and Kamla that are object are in the dative case. Okay. Next case number five is vocative case. How can we know? First of all, we should know that how we can recognize the vocative case. What is uh, write down the role of the vocative case? A noun used to address a person or thing in in the vocative case. It is also called the nominative of address. It is also called what nominative of address? Okay. For example, Ram, come here. Sit down, boys. First example is Ram come here and second example is sit down boys death mark up addition i am not afraid of you here in first example ram and in second example boys and in third example death are in the vocative case are used for addressing a person or thing okay next kind of cases next and last kind means kind number six is case in apposition when a noun follows another noun or pronoun denoting the same person but describing the person further it is said to be in the case in apposition to a noun or pronoun coming before it i repeated it again when a noun follows another noun or pronoun denoting the same person but it could describing the person further it is said to be in the case in apposition to a noun or pronoun coming before it for example hurry first of all we should know what is the meaning of apposition so then apposition means placing near example hurry comma my brother comma king and here is the subject here is the noun hurry and this hurry is described by my brother described by the word my brother and call rom comma the doctor 
here is the word ram ram is described by the word doctor in the above sentences brother and hari doctor and ram are one and the same person and it described by the brother and doctor thank you this was the your full video of about uh, of case about case okay thank you be happy have a good day